from a business point of view, at its essence, is it is incredibly difficult to run a successful business inside an unsuccessful society. And with a big generalization, I think what business did a lot of from 1994 to, let's say, 2007 or 2008, was keep very quiet and get on with the business of doing business. And, you know, maybe it was the globalization of the South African economy, maybe it was the sort of rainbow nation boost, maybe it was some commodity price run-ups, but generally people did okay by shutting up and getting on with business focusing on, focusing on business and politics focusing on politics. But I think there's very definitely been within the business community more recently, and Sipo referred to that, a very rude awakening of the simple fact that politics drives policy generally, policy drives economic outcomes, and economic outcomes drive the health of society over time. So it's very in, definitely in businesses' interests to be incredibly involved in policy, and if you want to do that, you've got to be involved in the politics that, that drives that, that policy. So I've certainly been enormously encouraged um, over the last couple of years by exactly how strongly business has found their voice, and, and in particular, um, an, an entity like Business Leadership South Africa, which I've been a member of, I don't know, maybe 10 years or something now, but it is a very different organization today to the one that I joined 10 years ago. And I think business in general and South African society are the better off for the fact that well-resourced organizations are making their voices very strongly heard.